Today I'm going to bring you a comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Nexus and the LG Nexus 4, which is the new flagship phone from Google. Both devices are running Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. The Galaxy Nexus features a TI OLMAP 1.2 GHz dual core Cortex A9 processor, whereas the Nexus 4 support has the S4 Pro processor running at 1.5 gigahertz. The Galaxy Nexus has a gig of RAM whereas the Nexus 4 has two gigs of RAM. Both feature super high resolution screens. The Galaxy Nexus has a 316 PPI super AMOLED screen whereas the Nexus 4 has an IPS display. As you can see here the Nexus 4 is actually a thinner device. That's because it has a straight display uh, d not a curved one like the Galaxy Nexus, I, so it makes up for a smaller device. It's actually a lot more premium feeling and looking as well. It's actually slightly shorter than the Galaxy Nexus, and I found it to be slightly wider. The Galaxy Nexus has a plastic backing, and the Nexus 4 has a lot more premium looking uh, glass back. Now let's go ahead and boot both of these devices on to see which one boots faster. I'm going to try to show you guys multiple times throughout the video the stark differences uh, in display between both the phones. Right away you can kind of tell that the Galaxy Nexus AMOLED screen is the blacks are slightly better. Uh, I apologize for the extremely bad screen protector that I have on. Um, my screen is super scratched up so I just really didn't bother with it. Plus when the screen's actually on you can't really notice it much anyways. So there you saw the Nexus 4 destroyed the Galaxy Nexus in terms of boot time and right away you'll notice the difference in screens I'll try to focus a little better so you guys can try to get a better understanding uh, one is the Nexus 4 is wider the colors are just initially they look more washed out compared to the Galaxy Nexus because the Galaxy Nexus AMOLED display is super vivid and everything just looks ultra saturated and it kinda has like a fluorescent -y colors on the AMOLED screen whereas on the IPS display they're really true to life colors so first of all we're gonna go ahead and do a browser comparison between both phones um, both phones are at pretty much the exact same brightness so let's open them up right away you can see that the Galaxy Nex Nexus, Nexus screen has a really bluish tint like AMOLED screens do. I'll try to zoom in to show you guys the difference. Um, initially I was kind of surprised to see how much of a difference between IPS and uh, AMOLED there is. The AMOLED screen is the IPS screen is a lot warmer so it's easier on the eyes. So let's go ahead and start the browser comparisons. I'm gonna use Chrome on both because Chrome is the default browser on the Nexus 4 now. So let's go to the verge.com on both of the sites. Just keep an eye out for the difference in colors on both sites and pretty much every test I do uh, the whole time. So there you saw the Verge loaded basically instantly on the Nexus 4, whereas on the Galaxy Nexus is still going. Uh, so there right away you can see some differences in colors. The orange is th there's differences in oranges between both the phones it's pretty noticeable up on the triangle you'll see that the orange in the verge symbol is kind of like a fluorescent -y orange whereas on the nexus 4 it seems like more of a real orange if uh, if you know if you can understand what i mean the colors just look better on the nexus 4 the nexus 4 also doesn't have a pentile display so the pixel arrangement is just a lot tighter compared to the Galaxy Nexus. So let's go ahead and open some links up. So they both pretty even there. Um, Galaxy Nexus started doing its stuff quicker, but the Nexus 4 seems to beat it by just a slight bit. There's. Let's go back and try a couple of other links. So here the Nexus 4 just loaded all the elements a lot quicker and it's finished. Whereas the Galaxy Nexus is still going. Just notice that on size face here you can see the differences in colors. The Galaxy Nexus has like a orangey tint 
to his uh, skin color whereas the Nexus 4 seems pretty true to life. You can also see the difference in the links on both pages on the Galaxy Nexus. It's a lot more vivid but they kind of seem oversaturated and not really real. Here you can see the differences as well not only in the background of the, the website but also on the links and comments. Let's go back and show you guys just one more link I guess in terms of performance so here the Galaxy Nexus just started everything quicker and it actually finished quicker too so both phones are pretty comparable I mean the Nexus 4 beats it by a little bit but it's not a crazy crazy difference Let's go to the full site and see if we see anything any major differences on the full site so there you saw the Nexus 4 lo loaded a lot quicker compared to the Galaxy Nexus now let's try and open a links up the Galaxy Nexus looks like it's processing quick um, it starts faster but the Nexus 4 ends up edging out uh, in the end now let's, let's look at pinch to zoom so it seems slightly smoother on the Nexus 4 as you can see I'm having pinch to zoom performances on both phones but it's pretty bad on the Galaxy Nexus there's definitely a screen calibration issue on the Nexus 4 whereas on the Galaxy Nexus it's a lot smoother um, see here I'm trying to pinch out but it doesn't register most of my uh, pinches now I just opened up bbc.com to show you the difference there the Galaxy Nexus actually won out there let's go to the full site and see if this website has any of the pinch to zoom performance issues so the Galaxy Nexus actually brought the elements up quicker and a lot of the stuff on the page now let's see which one actually finishes faster looks pretty even it finished <laughs> basically at the same time I mean both phones are doing an amazing job keeping up here on this site there's not as bad pinch to zoom performance issues um, in terms of frame rate, frame rate it looks like the Nexus 4 has slightly better frame rate for pinch to zoom but the Galaxy Nexus pinch to zoom is a lot more consistent I honestly think this is because of 4.2 Jelly Bean it's just a extremely glitchy OS for now I'm sure once Google fixes everything it, it'll just do a lot better job here you can see that when I pinch to zoom out on the Galaxy Nexus it has uh, some of that artifacting going on whereas on the Nexus 4 it does that as well but it's not as bad on the Nexus 4 let's go ahead and open some app up so I'm gonna open Flipboard up so there you saw there was a huge performance difference uh, between both phones uh, you can see the color differences as well it's, uh, so the Nexus 4 is beating out the Galaxy Nexus pretty obvious here too there the Galaxy Nexus actually brought up the stuff quicker but pretty comparable performance like this isn't night and day difference like this isn't going from an original S1 to an S3 or anything it's it seems like a slight upgrade but that little bit of performance increase you'll notice it on a day-to-day -day basis especially when you need your phone all the time and when you're you heavily using it for tests like this it's it doesn't seem like much of an issue but in real life it actually would be uh, a big difference so it's pretty 50 50 like sometimes the Nexus 4 is loading quicker sometimes the Galaxy Nexus is loading quicker okay here I'm gonna show you guys some color differences on the left there's the Galaxy Nexus on the right is the Nexus 4 you just want to look for the color differences here and I just want to show you how oversaturated and kind of fake the colors on the Galaxy Nexus are it's just everything is super Florence fluorescent looking and like colors are way oversaturated it makes everything look really happy and nice but it's it's really obvious that the colors are not real and your eyes can tell that too because they're not used to seeing colors like that the Nexus 4 is just has better more realistic colors 
if you look at the carpet, you can see that it's super red and it's kind of like glowing on the Galaxy Nexus, whereas on the Nexus 4, pretty consistent. Same with the cloud colors on both phones. The Nexus 4 just has a fluorescent D like. It looks like it has a filter on it. That's what it looks like on the Galaxy Nexus. That, sorry, that's what I mean. So, let's test some of the voice stuff out. Navigate to New York. Navigating. So pretty even right there. They pretty much came out at the same time. You couldn't even tell the difference between voices. The Nexus 4 is getting started with everything a lot quicker and has the maps loaded up in the background. I was having some GPS performance issues. They, the GPS signal just wouldn't lock on even though the Nexus 4 has GLONASS. It just wasn't locking on. So I'm going to re go back and try to do another navigation test to see if the GPS works. But if it doesn't, I'm not going to waste your time on it. it I don't know what was going to on today. So, as you saw there, it was pretty much the exact same timing and nothing, no huge differences. But the Nexus 4 in the end just ends up edging out just because it loads everything a lot quicker for the actual GPS stuff. Obviously, you're going to have the same maps on both phones, which is Google Maps. So, I'm not going to waste your time anymore with navigation. Let's go ahead and test some other Google Now features out. How many centimeters are there in an inch? One inch is 2.54 centimeters. There you couldn't even tell which phone was faster. The voice was synced up on both. So um, as you can see here, I have the volume turned up. So same performance. New York Giants. The Nexus 4 is slightly faster. Yeah, the Nexus 4 is slightly faster for some other things. How far is New York from Toronto? In this test here, you'll see that the Nexus 4 destroys the Galaxy Nexus. It just pops up everything just quicker. So the edge obviously is going to go to the Nexus 4, even if it's Mine a half Larry a millisecond Davis quicker. So there's that. The Nexus 4 is definitely a faster phone. One more test before I call it for Colby Google Now. Versus LeBron. Here I'm going to try to show you the difference in speakers. So that's the Nexus 4 Galaxy Nexus. So the Nexus 4 speaker is definitely, definitely a lot louder than the Galaxy Nexus. So while I was recording my video, my Nexus Galaxy Nexus just locked up and I had to do a battery pull. So that's one issue that's going on with the Galaxy Nexus right now. So that's one thing to watch out for when upgrading to 4.2. Nexus 4 performs perfectly on 4.2. Here are some picture comparison between both phones. On the left side is the Galaxy Nexus and the right side is the Nexus 4. I actually found better performance on my Galaxy Nexus for some reason, even under low light, than my Nexus 4. On the top here is the Nexus 4, on the bottom is the Galaxy Nexus. Here is the Galaxy Nexus, and here is the Nexus 4. Obviously the picture is a lot crisper, but I had a serious issue with the colors. The colors just look dull. Here is the Galaxy Nexus, and here is the Nexus 4. It's pretty, pretty bad. Picture is sharper, but the detail is just it's not what I expected I mean for a $300 phone it's good it's an upgrade from the Galaxy Nexus but not comparable whatsoever to an yeah, iPhone 5 that's for I'll sure show you the video on both the phones uh, the Nexus 4 seems like it's a lot more stable for the camera as you can uh, see there it's a little bit, little bit more shaky on the Galaxy Nexus um, both are good I wish uh, I wish the weather was a little bit better here so I could show you guys some better colors. Hey guys, I'm just going to show you the video on both the phones. Uh, the Nexus 4, 
Seems like it's a lot more stable for the camera. As you can uh, see there, it's a little bit, little bit more shaky on the Galaxy Nexus. Um, both are good. I wish, uh, I wish the weather was a little bit better here so I could show you guys some better colors. So is the Nexus 4 better than the Galaxy Nexus? It definitely is. In almost every single way, it's a better phone. And for the price of $300, it's a no-brainer to upgrade.